All right, we're back. I took the van home to my parents' house for a couple of days and did some work on it. Didn't film with this camera, sorry about that, uh, but I did take some time lapses and let me go ahead and show you those right now. I guess I didn't go into much detail in the intro, but let me tell you what I'm working on here. First thing I worked on was the dreaded cutting of a 14 by 14 inch hole in the van. My dad helped me out a lot on this as he has some useful tools like a jigsaw and an air powered nibbler as he calls it. I have to admit this part of the build did not go as smoothly as I hoped. I had to go over several spots multiple times to cut out enough metal so that the fan bracket would seat properly. The center line of the van is double reinforced, so my dad had to get out his bigger jigsaw in order to cut through it. I had to go back over the opening several times in order to make it wide enough for the bracket to fit. My dad had the clever idea of cutting some little PVC inserts to go in the gaps where the band bracket went over the ridges of the roof. I had some issues with my GoPro, so I missed recording the part where I put the weather ceiling on the bracket. I didn't use all the existing holes on the fan bracket because of the layout of the ridges of the van, so I drilled some of my own pilot holes. I think it worked out fine. The messiest part of the build so far was sealing up the fan bracket. I can't remember the last time I actually worked with caulking, but this stuff is really sticky and easy to mess up. Fortunately, no one will ever know how bad this looks, unless they get above my van, or watch this video. After dealing with that sticky mess, we got the fan out and seated it in the bracket. It fit perfectly. Here's how the fan looks from underneath. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Also, it's rained a couple of times since I filmed this video, and so far it's not leaking. We built this little frame around it so that when we screwed through the roof, uh, the screws would have something more meaty to catch on to besides just the sheet metal. Um, obviously, I've got some splits here, cracked open a little bit. That's okay. Those will get covered up by the roof uh, whenever, we're, whenever I finish this thing. Uh, also, this was kind of a thing I didn't expect to do, but I took off these seat belt holders. It looks pretty ugly with all those drilled out spot welds. My dad did most of the work on that since uh, he's much better with tools than I am. We also did some work on the uh, roof here. And you can see behind me, put up these little blocks. It's kind of crude, but uh, there's one up here too. There's also one up in the front cabin. Those will be nailers. So when I put the ceiling in, the ceiling will just nail straight onto there. So all that stuff got done while I was over at my parents' house. Uh, I'm super grateful to my dad for his help. He uh, so much better at tools than I am. He's got a lot more of them. Obviously, he's some stuff in those time lapses that I don't have here at home. So. I'm probably going to go over there a lot more to do work on the van, but uh, for now, today I'm back home and I do want to finish up uh, some of the things I was going to do. Namely, I'm going to be laying down some stuff called Fat Mat Rattle Trap, and that stuff will supposedly deaden some of the sound and vibration that the car has while driving. Uh, also, I figure if I install some of the Fat Mat on the roof, that will also deaden the sound of raindrops hitting um, and also just external noise at night when I'm sleeping because who wants to be woken up by every little thing outside? So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then call that a day. So here's some more time lapses of me doing whatever that is.
All right, so got the fat mat rattle trap installed in the roof. Hopefully that will make a big difference when it rains and I'm camping and all that rain coming down will hopefully not make so much sound, so much noise uh, when I'm sleeping in here. Maybe it'll also deaden a little bit of the sound when I'm driving too, we'll see. I did not put any on the floor in here uh, because for one, I ran out of the rattle trap material. I think I've only got, you know, like one one sheet of this stuff left. Uh, so it's not enough to do anything with. Uh, plus, it's like 60 bucks a roll. I'm, I'm hesitant, mostly because uh, I'm gonna put down a layer of insulation on the floor and then I'm gonna have a half inch plywood subfloor. So I kind of have this feeling that any sound that would come in through the floor is gonna get canceled out or at least deadened a bit by the insulation floor so I'm you know that seems like one of those things that I shouldn't really have to mess with um, but yeah a couple other things I did I didn't mention before uh, I did some when I took the subfloor up the other day uh, I did notice a couple of rust spots I got out some primer spray and sprayed over them um, it's kind of ugly uh, but not too worried about those because they're going to get covered uh, by the subfloor. Uh, I suppose if I really had the wherewithal, I would have painted them white, but that gray primer stuff is what I had, and I didn't feel like buying some at the store, so call me cheap and lazy. Uh, yeah, so I got to clean this place up a little bit uh, and figure out what's going to be next in here, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this video now. And once again, thank everybody for watching. Um, this is the third video. Maybe I'll make a fourth and a fifth and so on and so on. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you like the video, please give it a little thumbs up. There's a little icon somewhere on YouTube. You know, hit that like button if you will. Subscribe if you want to keep watching the videos as the build progress goes on. Uh, I'll try to put out one video every week. Just depends on how much work I can get done on the van each week. Um, we'll see. No, gar no guarantees. No promises. What can I say? I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a guy who wants to convert his van into a camper and document it for posterity. Yeah. So, okay. Goodbye, everybody.